Today our lesson is about function. This is for the still for the beginners of algebra. So function you can consider it as equation, but you will know later what's the difference between function and equation. So what is a function? Function is a relation between the input and the output of the equation or the function. So whatever is x, there is one value for y. So always function is the relation between the input and the output. In other words, you can say the function is a relation between the domain and range. So you have, it's a relation between the set of the domain and the set of the range. But how we can say that this is a function and this is not a function? So let's say, let's see here, the element 2 gives you one answer or element y. So what, what is given x here, there's one answer for y. So whatever given here for 4, one answer for x2. If this is x1, this is x2, this is x3, one answer, one answer. So this is a function. So once, once you have and one input, there's one output. One input, one output. So, uh, if you consider it as order pairs or coordinates, you can see also you fix it that these are not repeated. The x, the loop to the x is long as you look to the x. 2, 4, 6, 8 is not repeated. And for the range 5, 7, 9, 11 is not repeated. Now look here. If we have another set like this, the domain is 1, 2, 3, and the range is 3, 5, 7, 9. So from 1 gives me 3, and the 2 gives me 5, and the 2 also gives me 7, and the 3 gives me 9. This is a function. As long the elements here are not repeated, yani look to the ordered pairs. 3, 5, 7, now, look to that y. Only if, if there are two numbers repeated, then this is not a function. So as long as this is not repeated, 3, 5, 7, 9, it is a function. If it is repeated, it is not a function. Now, I'll give you another example here. Look here. Minus 2, 0, 3, 4, and minus 3, 6, and 9. Minus 2 give me negative 3, and 0 give me 6, and 3 give me 6. It's different than this. So this give me one answer in y, give me another answer, same answer in y, and the following. So we notice that that six is repeated here. So this is not function. So if it is given to you domain and range, look to the coordinates. As long the y coordinates is not repeated, like here, it is a function. If it is repeated. It is not a function. Now we'll take it how the function would be in graphing. Hi again. Now, if the function is given in the form of graph, not in the form of sets like before domain and range, how we can know that this is a function, this is a function or not a function? Now, the best test is to bring a ruler or a pencil or whatsoever and put it parallel to the y-axis, like this and pass it on the x. Once you have a point here x, there is one point for y. Like this, you see if there is x here, there is one solution here. If there is x here, one solution here. If there is x here, one solution here. You see what I mean? For every x, there is one answer of y. So, if this is moving, you can see, notice that every intersection here one point of x and one point for y so as long this is cutting at one point the graph so this is a function so this is a function whatever it is the intersection is as long there is x cutting there's one solution for y here so this is a function here if you are passing it like this, you will notice that x here, when I put the ruler, it has two solutions, two answers for y. 
So this is rejected. You remember in the domain and range, is why it's repeated, it's not a function. So this is not a function. This is not a function. For every x, there are two answers of y. You got it? So this is a function, this is not a function. Here, you have to be careful here. You know the point here, it means it's not starting from the point, but it means when it is blank, it means it's starting from the point. So, if I pass like this, until now it is a function, it is a function, it is a function, and here there's no number here, so it is accepted and continue as a function here. So this is a function, as long as this is, one of them is empty and one is uh, filled. But if it is like this, be careful, here you have two answers at this point, so this is not a function. Here, if it is like this, it is a function. Now, I hope I cleared it according to the function in the graphing way. Let's go to the next step. Hi again. Now, if you have a function and a function here, you have to call it sometimes discrete function or continuous function. What it means discrete function? If you know that, if you follow up, if you put the points on the graph, you see that this is running smoothly, suddenly it drops down, go up and continue. So this is a function, but not, we call it discrete function. Here continuous function, if you see the points are running smoothly, if you connect them. So this is what we call a continuous function and this is what we call a discrete function. Let's go to the next step. Now, if you want to know something about notation or the symbol of function, we can write it in the form of f of x. This is because it's a function. Suppose a function like this is equal to x plus 3. How we can work with it? So let's say if I have an x, 1 equal 1. What would be the function? So I will write here f of x, 1 equal, which is x1 is 1. So f of 1 equal 2 into 1 plus 3. So f of 1. equal 2 times 1, 2, plus 3 is 5. So, this is if x1 equal 1, then f of 1, we can consider it also as y equal, y1 equal 5. Now, if you take another value, so let's take another value of x2, it would be equal to 2, implies f of 2, this is a function, of 2 equal 2 times two, x, x is here is 2 plus 3. So f f2 equal 2 times 2 is 4 plus 3 is 7. So y2 equal 7. So we can write the function here as f of x equal 2 x plus 3 or we can write it as an equation y equal 2 x plus 3. Whatever you give x value, there's one value for y, and so on. So that the difference between a function and the equation is very, very, very sensitive. You cannot say the function is an equation, but the function is like an equation, or the equation is like the function. So whatever you give value of x, there's a value for y, and then if you write it in this form, if x here, then y is here. But if, if I give x here is 1, what does the y give me? 1 gives me 5. If x equal 2, then what will be the y equal 7? And so on. Suppose if I put x equal 3, 3 times 2 is 6, 6 plus 3 is 9. So 3 and 9. So you can notice that every range, every ordered pairs, the range are not equal. So this is a function. So the function is, I hope this is clear in this form. We we'll go to the last explanation of the function. Now, sometimes we'll face these sentences, linear function and non-linear function. So, 
be, care, uh, be careful with this. When, when you see linear function, it means if you graph it, it will be a straight line. It can be in this form or it can be in this form. No problem. As long as it is a straight line, the linear the function is linear. You can add to this one that if the, if the power of the x exponent of the x is 1 always, not more than this. So already you can see y equal to x plus 3, as long as this is 1, it means it is a linear function. Nonlinear function, it is a function, but we don't call it nonlinear because it is not a straight line. That's a, so you can see that it may be, it can be in this form, y equal x square or y equal x cube, blah, blah, blah. So, when it is linear equation, it is a straight line. If it is not straight line, then it is non-linear function. This is linear function, this is the non-linear function. Thank you very much. Now we'll go to a small, small sketch about the summary of the lesson. Thank you very much. Hi students again. Now let's have some fun here. We have this machine which is called function machine. And you know it is a function. So you follow the properties of function. That every one income there is one outcome. So this will be the domain and this will be the range. And let's see fit one number here, drag in one number. So number one, if it will go inside the machine, what will be the outcome here? Oh it is a three. Good. Let's try another number. If it is 2, drag in, what will happen to the y it is 6? So, if x equals 1, y equals 3. If x equals 2, y equals 6. Let's try 3. What will happen is 9. Let's try 4. You have it well. So, what we notice is that function every, for every income, there's what one in, one out. Uh, so this would be the domain, this would be the range. But here there is two, it is an advanced one, that you have to guess the numbers, outcome, and from this you can write the equation. It is not required from your lesson, but it is a fun, I'll give you a few seconds, around 30 seconds, to notice the function, what will be the outcome and what will be the function. Guess what will be the outcome? According to me, us that we require that the function will be y equal 3x. So if I put 1 times 3, it will be 3. If I put 2 times 3, it will be 6. If I put 2 times x, which is 3, 3 times 3 is 9. So 5 times 3 will be 15. Then it is accepted. 6 times 3 will be 18, it is accepted, 7 times 3 is 21, it is accepted, so there was no error. I hope you understand the lesson clearly and this, this nice uh, example, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, my dear students, bye.